Hey y'all and welcome back to the Monster of Mars in 2019. This round one bout six clash between St. Arnold of Houston, Texas and Aid Asylum of Madison, Wisconsin. The Monster of Mars is my idea to pit 32 US craft breweries against each other to see who can come out with the best Oktoberfest style beer. As I mentioned, this is bout six of round one. So if you're interested in seeing the other results, uh, there's a link in the description below where you can see the entirety of round one and the bouts that have been completed to this point. In each bout, the two beers are compared using five criteria. The first one is can design, second is aroma, third is flavor, fourth is body, and fifth is the people's choice. Let's go ahead and start with St. Arnold out of Houston, Texas. So as you can see, they've got this sort of like tessellated pattern going on um, with the traditional German colors. And of course they have their um, typical motif, if you're familiar with their branding at all, of St. Arnold, the patron, the patron saint of beer right there in the center of the can. On the flip side, Ale Asylum has kind of brought in a little bit of Halloween into their Oktoberfest uh, with their Octillion. Uh, as you can see, they've got this kind of um, semi-dead looking octopus lady uh, here on the can. I'm going to go ahead and award this round to Octillion from Ale Asylum. I think this is just tremendous attention to detail, and while it isn't, um, you know, the traditional branding that you would expect with Oktoberfest. I like, you know, using Octillion and kind of playing October Octopus all that against itself. And Ale Asylum, you know, this is my first time trying them, but it seems like their brand is a little more kind of off the wall than a lot of other breweries. So uh, I'm going to give point one to Ale Asylum. So criteria two through four require me to actually drink the beer. So let's go ahead and get these in glasses. Alrighty, with the beer in glasses, let's go ahead and check out criteria number two, which is Aroma. Um, so starting with the St. Arnold here on my left. Okay, so this one has a um, fairly typical malty smell to it that you would expect from an Oktoberfest. It has a nice kind of sweetness uh, behind it as well. And it's a little lighter colored than I might have anticipated, but um, yeah, I, I can definitely tell that the malts are going to come through pretty big. The Octillion doesn't smell quite as malty. It's got that kind of bready quality to it. Um, but it does smell like it's going to be pretty refreshing. Um, based on the, the criteria of aroma though, uh, I'm going to go ahead and give this one to St. Arnold. It has that more sort of traditional Oktoberfest uh, aroma to it. Let's move on to taste. Okay, so the St. Arnold um, is really interesting. It has uh, that that multi flavor you would expect, and it's nice and sharp on the front end, but the body itself, and we'll get into that a little bit later, but it's kind of clean and, and really easy to drink. Um, sometimes Marzen can be a little thicker, uh, a little more substantial, and therefore, you know, not the best in the heat, obviously being a fall beer, but you know, here in, in Texas, I mean, it's technically fall-ish now, and we're still in the high 90s every day, so this actually lends itself really well to that kind of climate. Um, you, as I said, you get the flavor profile that you expect from the Oktoberfest, but you get a sort of crisper, lighter body, which is nice. All right, let's go ahead and try Ale Asylum's Octillion. So my suspicions were correct um, based on the aroma. It is a much um, kind of breadier and sweet beer as opposed to that sort of robust malt flavor that you would expect. It's a tasty beer. Um, I'm just not sure that it's exactly what I would expect from a, a Marzen or an Oktoberfest. So um, at this point, I am going to award criteria three flavor to St. Arnold, uh, making St. Arnold the leader currently at two to one. Under criteria four, uh, body, and now that encapsulates a number of things, um, as you may remember, both of them poured quite a nice head on the front end. It retained reasonably well through. As you can see here on the glass, the Ale Asylum is lacing a little bit more, um, though there is some from the St. Arnold. So in a situation where um, you know the head retention is about the same, the lacing is roughly the same, uh, I kind of have to go down to sort of thickness, mouthfeel, all that kind of stuff. And it's really interesting. As I said, um, the St. Arnold is kind of lighter bodied than I was, would expect, but it's still packed with flavor. Um, and the Ale Asylum is, is quite light-bodied and thin-ish itself, um, but it has this really refreshing quality to it, and maybe it's because it's a little bit sweeter, um, but yeah, I mean, there isn't a ton separating these two. I, at this point, have to give it to Ale Asylum, so that brings us to a two-all tie going into the fifth criteria, which is the People's Choice. If this is your first time watching a Master Marzen, um, criteria number five, the People's Choice, allows you at home to actually shape the decision-making in each of these bouts. 
um, the polls go up on my Instagram story at Sergeant Suds. They're open for 24 hours, and basically you can have your say as to who you think should progress. So as I said, the poll was open for 24 hours. It closed a couple hours ago, uh, and this one was a little bit of a whitewash. Um, St. Arnold received 82% of the vote to Hail Asylum's 18%, as you can see on the screen. And for those of you playing at home, that was 90 votes for St. Arnold and 20 for Hail Asylum. St. Arnold's audience, you know, doesn't play. Um, so yeah, as you can see here, uh, St. Arnold are resounding winners in the uh, People's Choice category, which actually gets them over the line three to two, and they will progress uh, to the next round. That being said, and this is something I, I said uh, in my last couple of reviews, and you'll probably hear me say it the whole way through a tournament, um, both of these are very tasty beers, and um, unfortunately the, the nature of the competition is I have to shed half the competition in each round. Um, but